Uh, it is a telethon to the end. Um, the NMG supercut has old strats. That's that's how boring that stage was. That was literally what we used to do. It's it's several telethrows. It's three. This this song isn't a banger. It's a vibe. Oh, whoops. Ring. Okay, why the Acropolis Blaze has a bit of nuance to it too that I should describe. Okay. When you approach this first dash panel, make sure to hit it on the far right side. Yeah, this is a very forgettable stage if you don't run it. So, when you hit this first dash panel in the snowball sequence, hit it on what is currently the right side, but when you flip the camera to face the snowball will be the left side. So I'm gonna go to the hard right side of this first dash panel, right? I'm gonna hit it for, and then I'm holding hard left right now. And when I see Blaze turn, I'm gonna position myself as close to the edge as possible, like the left wall. When I land, I'm holding X. You know, hold me down. I fire claw through that. And then with any luck, and I forgot to hold hard left even after the camera turned. If I did hold hard left even after the camera turned, I probably would have hit those dash panels. And that, that doesn't necessarily lose you that much time IGT. But you can see what happens RTA if I'm not fast enough. Mmm, the frames. It's probably worse on PS3. Now, uh, make sure you have a ring into this section. You can deal with these enemies with two spinning claws. However, if you want to play it safe, do one spinning claw and then kill the rest with fire claws. I'm gonna. That was incredibly clean for me. I don't know what the hell that was. One hundred three is still good, even though I stopped for like three seconds in the middle. I would have been like a fifty-nine one flat. That that is something Otonishi also goes over in his guide. He also goes over AFC. Don't do AFC. It just lets you clip through the door, but has a significant chance of just killing you. Like in some ways if you mess it up, you just take the jump panel. In some ways you mess it up, you just die. Alright, console his tutorial, not me. And then if you don't feel comfortable doing the telethrows, uh... Actually, I'm gonna highlight this. How to White Acropolis Section 2. Because the first one is unchanged. So, with this one, you want to position yourself kinda here. And then when you get over this first, like, tiny rock that's part of the rock, you want to kind of shift from up to upright, just to move yourself right a little bit. Height cap. And this is fine. It's totally fine if you're going to go into this platform. But ideally you make it to the one past it on the left. Um, so if the rock breaks here... If you aren't if you aren't quite comfortable with LEs, there's a spring at the bottom where I'm facing that just takes you all the way up here. So don't worry about it too much. Now this one This one is why we hate this stage now. I would watch Nick's PB very carefully. 
And don't be afraid to use like the, the stun slap to pivot yourself. So, so no matter which way I'm facing, I am tapping forward forward with the throw. I'm facing different directions, but I'm always going up for the throw. You want to stand approximately here. So high cap. One, two. This is probably the wrong spot to stand. Tiniest tap so that you face right. No, yeah, that was that was wrong. If that happens, you were in the wrong place. So this is the angle you want. And if it doesn't, and if it doesn't, and if you're a bit to the right, you're about to collide with the boxes, lift and jump off. Or else you will break the rock and you will be very sad. This is also something that can happen. Um, might as well just show you the backup. So you ellie your way hopefully over here, because it goes over an enemy trigger that makes this backup much harder. And then, you, and then you go to this rock. You lift a bit to the right, and then, and then make sure the camera is aligned with silver, and telethrow straight forward once you're height capped. You should end up right about here and be able to hover to basically where the second rock would have taken you. Uh, you, can, you can copy that combat. You can also copy the combat from the NMG supercut. As long as you have a spare rock that's spherical or a rock piece and good telethrow intuition, you'll be fine. But after I drop it from moving, I always readjust it just to stop it, you know? So jump. When I want to land on the rock, I hold forward instead of neutral sticking. Height cap. And I got lucky with the angle here. And then you're there. Uh, high cap. If you go at a shallow angle, telethrow immediately after. You will get a better angle and be able to make it over the enemies. Um, in or go to the left, like around the enemies. Um, I'll show you, and then the backup is in the NMG supercut as well. If you miss that rock, or you just don't have any telethrow fodder. I'm gonna practice the real one. Because this is like, probably the second hardest telethrow I do. Actually no, this is the hardest telethrow I do. Oh crap. Now I have no idea where the surface is. That was my fault. Sometimes this will happen, this is fine. Take the spring, hover. Tree strap, by the way. If you jump behind that tree as he's shooting the things, 99% of the time he's gonna fire both arms at you. Although if you if you can do the combat without even shooting the arms, that's always better. Okay, a little further. Oh yeah, this is the NCW backup. You can check this shit in world record. But but that's Nick. Nick successfully does this.
Your alternative is to walk here, use this rock, lift it, and invalidate the level design. Uh, hopefully I will remember to highlight this for your use, Sly, and anyone else's, but that's what Acropolis. I, I need to practice the, the, the second rock, though. Where is the entrance to Eggman's base? I need to practice this. Tap right. This is a good angle. So when you get about here, you stop the rock and walk this way. Turn around, recenter the camera, and hope to God you get a good angle. I didn't. See, that was a better positioning on that one. Do that one, not the first one. So I turn a bit to the left. When he fires the left arm, I turn a bit to the left before I throw. When he fires the right arm, I turn a bit to the right. Pick up the ring. Tight cap. Right. That's like the riskiest backup, but it's the only backup you got. Where is the entrance to Eggman's base? Oh yeah, no. There we go. That's what it looks like. And if you can tell it, throw it. Into the robot. If you want to deem yourself capable of going for this rock and getting it all the way, that is hard. I'm changing the song. It's probably like losing me hella viewers. Th th that is the nine minute long remix of Creep that um, Tom York did as basically a shit post. And it's on Spotify, I guess. It's called the. Creep Very 2021 Tom York Remix. Tom York being the lead vocalist of Radiohead who wrote the original song. Um, I remember reading about this. After the OK Computer Tour, which was like their last album, quote unquote, they went on a hiatus. They went their separate ways. Because like, Tom York described it as like just being burnt out of this like whole teen rock kind of vibe um they he kind of hated what he was writing and singing on tour and so they went on hiatus radiohead went on hiatus um then in 2001 this is this is history right here um radiohead drops kid a which is nothing like they've ever released, but it's the same people. I swear. This is probably my favorite song from the album.
I'll play this and then I'll go back to, you know, OSTs and stuff. It has a groove to it. Interesting. Never failed it in that way before. Oh yeah, you can spawn those enemies, just do this faster. Also, most of the time, these rock pieces, if you can align them correctly, give you better angles than the balls. They stay still too. Okay, a little further to go until the base. Look at that. Beautiful. You just gotta have good telethrow intuition and high cap them. Which is just something you develop over time. I can't I can't describe it. <laughs> 